and welcome back. Now today I thought we'd talk about a few things voltage related and namely a shootout between the 7805 5 volt 1 amp regulator and something that turned up in the post a few weeks ago and I've not had a chance to actually look at it properly. It's this little device here. Let's not worry about getting into it too closely because I've got, I've got a much better picture on screen but this is a buck converter which is basically a step down voltage converter that is totally different to one of these 7805s these are called linear voltage converters but these ones are switched mode converters now you've probably heard of a switched mode power supply for your laptop well this one switches the voltage down not up and uh, oh Benny my cat has come to join us look he's obviously interested in buck converters so let's have a look at the uh, screen here. First of all about the 7805. So on the screen here we can see that this is um, for the entire family of LM78XX. Um, output current up to 1 amp and output voltages are in that range 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12 and so forth. Which is uh, a nice range to have especially for the Arduino so we can keep it at 5 which is what the one in the breadboard is at the moment. Um, now the only thing of interest that I really wanted to point out here, the input voltage um, for our particular device, because it's within this 5 volt to 18 volt range, the input voltage can go up to 35 volts. That is impressive. So basically you can chuck more or less anything in there and still get your 5 volts out. Bearing in mind of course you have got your heat dissipation to worry about with the 7805 because it is a linear voltage converter which means it dissipates all extra power as heat and that's why if you look at the uh, the shape of this basically it's it's built on a slab of metal with a hole through it so you can bolt another piece of metal to it to dissipate all that heat now meanwhile the uh, mini converter which I got here from Banggood now here's a nice little picture, let's click that, there are, now we can see a, a decent picture of it. You've got uh, input plus and minus and output plus and minus with a common negative. Uh, this square device here, it's actually black on mine, it says 4R7 but it's not a resistor, it's actually um, a tiny little coil, I think that really means 4.7 micro henrys. And we'll find out why when we look at switch converters in just a minute. This is the little device that does all the work. And it's uh, ubiquitous in the uh, world of voltage converters. Now, on here, it says that the input voltage can be anything between 4.5 and 28 volts. And it is adjustable, this one. Output voltage, anything from 0.8 to 20 volts. So it could be used for example for an Arduino DUI which requires 3.3 volts and the output current is 2 amps. If you want 3 amps you need an additional heat sink but unfortunately on this actual board I don't think there's actually anywhere to connect any additional heat sinking so we'll just uh, keep it at under 2 amps I think to be safe. Not that uh, I need that for today's little demo. Uh, now it mentions here output ripple less than 30 millivolts you think oh that's okay more or less 30 millivolts but it, it's not okay for some projects if you need an output supply that is pretty much ripple free then you do need to go across to this LM780 family 05 in this case because the output ripple on here is measured probably in the microvolts I don't know if it actually tells you on here scroll down Let's have a look. It says here output noise voltage 42 microvolts, which basically means your 7805 will give you an absolutely rock steady 5 volts. Whereas this mini buck converter, yes, it gives you a pretty good 5 volts, but there is a little bit of noise on the output, which you can deal with to some extent with a capacitor but you're always going to have a little tiny bit of noise which doesn't affect most digital equipment but certainly analog equipment like um, an amplifier especially radio frequency amplifier would probably be upset by that small amount of noise but for this price £1.11 which is probably about 
two dollars and a half now it's it's a damn good buy and the best thing about it is the efficiency putting your voltage through one of these gives you about a 90 percent efficiency rate 90 percent so if you put in 10 or 12 volts in here and you get 5 volts out you're going to get 90 percent efficiency in the conversion conversely you put it through a 7805 and you'll get something like a 20 percent efficiency if you're lucky because all that extra voltage is being dissipated as heat which is fairly obvious when you look at it nice and closely here on the breadboard you can see that there's a rather big piece of metal that it's built on and you need even more metal bolted to that if you're going to put any kind of decent current through here they do get hot quite quickly so if you're using this to switch a relay for example it will build up some heat probably not enough to warrant a relay in that case but it still does get warm whereas your buck converter certainly wouldn't need any kind of heat sink at that rate so let's have a quick look at the performance of this now I'm going to zoom in a bit on this board and see if we can get it all in focus there we are now I've got this set up with an input voltage approaching 9 volts in fact my my power supply which is off screen at the moment does say 9 although the the center one here which is the input voltage doesn't say 9 so let's just fiddle that about a bit that's close enough now this is the LM705 voltage and this is the mini DC DC buck converter and you can say they're both about 5 volts now we can bring that up because 12 volts is quite a common value to supply from a 12 volt adapter for example and as you can see they're still rock solid the fact that it says 4.97 and not 4. Point, and not 5 and that one says 4.99 don't take that to heart these little tiny mini voltmeters I've got plugged in here probably aren't accurate enough and there we are look even as I've touched it it's gone up to 5 it's certainly uh, stable enough on the output side now we can bring this input voltage right up so we can bring it up to 15 let's try 20 yeah it's still nice and stable look both the LM7805 um, and the buck converter 25 volts if we see any smoke coming out anywhere in a minute you know we've gone past the, the maximum well there we are that's 25 volts which is probably about as high as anybody's going to put into an Arduino project and we can see here that both the LM705 at 4.98-ish and this one here is now 5, it says 4.995. It hasn't really moved in all, when it, whatever we put into here, it doesn't really move very much at all. So, okay, the 7805 is a linear voltage converter and just basically um, dissipates all the extra voltage coming in here that doesn't come out here as heat on this little heat sink. Um, at the moment it's not warm because we're not taking anywhere near enough we're taking a few milliamps for the LEDs on here um, now this how does this achieve its efficiency rating of 90 plus percent sometimes even 95 percent well let's have a look at um, eBay it's got a nice little uh, diagram here now this diagram here shows you what happens in a buck converter here we have a coil that was the 4.7 micro henry coil i was talking about there's the load which in our case is this um, voltmeter here that with the led display it takes a few milliamps to light all those segments up there's a diode across here when the switch closes you would think that current would rush around here into the load and back out again that doesn't happen with a buck converter because this coil resists the inrush of current that's what coils do so it acts as a sort of a break and it, it stops the current rushing in and then if we open it again the current that is now stored effectively in this inductor has to go somewhere well it can't come round here because the diode is biased in the wrong direction for it so it continues to go through the load and back round through the diode and make this circuit here then if we shut it again more current comes in here is stored in this inductor 
and then as we open it it continues to revolve around here now we're not suggesting that this switch shown in the diagram is a manual switch and it doesn't matter how good you are on your Game Boy or PS4 you couldn't open and close this switch fast enough to present any kind of reasonable voltage at this end we're talking about a programmable switch here um, something that's operated by a square wave and is running at a few hundred thousand kilohertz possibly even a megahertz but certainly many tens and hundreds of thousands of hertz and by closing and opening this at the correct frequency we can get any voltage we like at this end here in fact I think there's a little bit more to show you down below uh, here we are now this on state is exactly what I've said current flows like this but as soon as we take the switch off the current simply flows around here now that is the whole principle of a buck converter step down voltage converter let's put it that way now there's some useful maths here which we might like to go through I'm just kidding I don't understand it either and unless you're designing a buck converter I don't suppose you have to so we'll just skip all that and we'll concentrate on these diagrams um, here's another one the naming conventions and so forth by all means I, I encourage you to read up the buck converter entry in Wikipedia it does give you quite a lot of information much more than what I'm giving you here but it, the principle remains the same with this diagram and with these two diagrams here so there we have it then back to our little breadboard here with our meters so any voltage coming in here is converted quite happily by the LS705 here and the mini buck converter here the difference being that this 7805 is dissipating all the extra voltage as heat within this chunk of metal that it's built on whereas this little beauty is simply turning a little switch on and off programmatically by the chip and smoothing it out to a wonderfully stable voltage apart from that small amount of noise that may upset some very delicate equipment especially analog you might hear it as a small buzz or a whine especially radio frequency equipment so just bear that in mind and sometimes you think well I'm gonna to have to have this rather inefficient linear voltage converter because my circuit demands it so there we are LS7805 versus mini buck converter I think they both stand up in their own rights look at that beautiful nice stable voltage out regardless of what comes in great think of those in your next project and thanks for watching i hope you're finding these videos useful and interesting remember you can leave comments down below and also click that little button that says subscribe okay thanks for watching and see you in the next video